Alright, so we got Balloon and Killa Keith versus Salvador. These guys have played. I think actually Keith and Bart haven't been teaming for very long, but these guys have definitely played before. Uh, I think uh, Nicobot and Salvador have the advantage here, I would say, because they have really good team synergy and Bart and Keith just don't have as much experience, but it'll still be a really close match, I think. Who do you think's like, uh, just like better overall, though, between the two of them like individual skill level you line them up one by one all four of them what would you, what would you think i i think bart and keith are better singles players but the team synergy that nicobot and saladoc have is just so good it it puts them up an entire tier in, in doubles in my opinion yeah like like the skill level gap isn't so big yeah that like it can't be overcome with good team synergy yeah exactly so okay it's, I think this is they started then. Uh, yeah, they have. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they started now. I gave them the go ahead. All right. And it looks like uh, Nick, I think, right there, going in on Keith, trying to get an early kill right there, or at least rack up some damage. Yeah. I think what Sheik is gonna want to do is kind of uh, let like wall out Falcon and let Fox kind of do his thing on Peach. I think that's gonna be in general what their strategy is. Oh, and I was really agreeing with what um, with Bal what with Balloon was trying to do right there, just stay on the ledge until his invincibility. Or until it was safe to come back on. Yeah, it just happened to uh, unfortunate timing on Keith's part. So green team has a full stock lead, but it looks like our red team at the mo for a second looked like they had control. Oh, that was. Oof. I, I, you hate getting caught by that down smash. Yeah, I always cringe when I see that happen to us. I think it's like, that happens so much more in doubles because there's so much more chaos going yep. on and sometimes you're just like, oh god, I just landed next to Peach. This is really bad. Yeah, exactly. It, it's also, I, it's so frustrating to have that happen to you. But a double KO there, one KO from each team. Yep. Gonna take those stocks down and we're almost even here. Well, we're pretty much even because uh, pretty much everyone's, everyone's percent is pretty high. And, um, yeah, well, I guess, uh, like, Bart's percent right there is only at 49. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, uh, Salvadoc as Sheik. His percent's pretty low, too. Yeah. Ooh, unfortunate. Unfortunate timing or great, uh, great team timing. Ooh, that's... that's Nice yeah. forward smash. I'm always impressed when a Falcon lands that forward smash because yeah. it's a move that like you're never supposed to land with Falcon. It's yeah. just you get really you get really good timing. Mm -hmm. I, I actually feel like a lot of there there are definitely times when Falcons use it intentionally, but I feel like a lot of times it's an accident and it, it seems to work like 75% of the time when Falcons accidentally throw out F smash. Yeah, it's like it's like a 50-50 thing. You just you don't expect anything Falcon to do that anything Falcon's doing to last that long. Yeah. And it's like, well, he wants to do a lot of quick moves. It's like, in any matchup the Falcon is in, he's always trying to do the quick stuff. Yep. Oh, that was really unfortunate for Red Team. Alright, so it's still, actually, I would call this pretty much even, because they can get a really quick kill on Fox. Just a knee or a good, like, down smash to Peach Edgeguard will take out Fox's stock. There it is. Yep. Unless you can save him. Oh. He's gonna get it? Nope. Oh my that was beautiful by Keith. Just yeah. having the presence of mind to cover all the options there. Yeah, he just hung out right there, said, you know what, I'm Peach, I've got the flow, I can stay here for as long as I want. Yeah. Or as long as I'm needed. Oh. But with the double up air, still not gonna kill. Yeah. Don't put him in danger of an up smash kill though. That would have been really, really crucial if Keith had lost his stock there. Ooh, okay, oh. accidental up air on his teammate right there. A knee, beautiful tech to save himself, but he does get the up smash on Keith. Yeah, unsafe dash attack. Oh, if they can get this kill on Falcon, this is looking really bad for red team. And that's going to do it. Oh, uh, yeah. No amount of DI Falcon kick is going to save you from that one. So, Keith can actually still do this. It's going to be pretty tough, but they're both at high enough percent that he can get a quick kill on one of them. Yeah, I mean, like, ideally he wants to get that kill on Nick first, take him out, and then he's at, well, he was at low percent, so we could then uh, go with the 1v1. Yeah. Oh, there, 
That might be it for Salvador. Yep. yep. That's one stock down. If he can close this stock out on uh, on Nick's Fox here. Yeah. He did. He took a lot of percent though, so it's going to be really tough. Yeah. 132 percent as as a floaty. It's going to be rough. And that's going to do it for game one. I'm going to find you another co commentator because I believe I have a match. All right. Okay, so I think this is still two out of three. So Salvadoc and Nicobod will probably ban uh, Dreamland because they don't want to deal with Peach and Falcon both living just forever on that stage. And then I think Balloon and Keith might kind of pick F. No, I don't know if they do. I actually don't know what they'd counter pick here. Um, I think they both like Battlefield, though. They might uh, go back there. Oh, what? Okay. Uh, FD. I, I yeah, but Bart switched to Fox, which I Good almost Lord. never see him do in singles yeah. or doubles. I think yeah, Bart's Fox is pretty good, but uh, I think I think Nick is pretty good at, uh, at like gimping foxes, gimping yeah. spaces. So spaces that don't that aren't super familiar with the Sheik matchup, and Bart really does not like Sheik. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there we oh, go. That was, <laughs> that was a really good needle slip. Yeah, that was, that was sick. Oh, Nicobar just kind of sits there and doesn't expect... Oh, oh my. what the heck? That, those were some Why'd magnet he get off hands. I, don't, I think he thought Nick couldn't make it. I didn't think he was going to make it. <laughs> wow, that was a sick combo. <laughs> oh, wow. Geez. Oh, okay. Wait, did he hit him with a back air? I feel like I should have sent him farther at 130. Maybe he had really good DI. Yeah, I think he had really good DI. That was really good by Salvadoc right there. Crouch canceling the Poop. down smash to go the other direction because he would have been dead if he got only hit by the first hit of that. Yeah, I love I love when that's intentional. It's so smart. So. Oh, he gets clipped. They they need to. Uh, Take out Keith's gonna stock tank this match unless they can shut him down pretty quick. I mean, they could also just let him stock tank and go for Bart. Yeah, I, I think that's usually the yeah, better strategy. strategy. Yeah. If you try to force encounters, it usually ends badly. Yeah. Especially against Peach. <laughs> yeah, in doubles also, I, the the down smash just can if you go too hard on Peach and doubles, you can take so much percent from a down yeah. smash. I can't believe I killed. <laughs> yeah, that was, oh, that was like almost bare minimum percentage for that up smash to kill him. So this is pretty oh. even. Yeah, this is super even. Yeah, that back air probably wasn't the best decision, but... <laughs> nice falling up air. He seems to get those a lot. It looks like he has like a read on the move they're going to use. He just does a full hop, fast fall up air. Yeah. Smart by Nickabod. The falling up airs are super nice. It's really cool every time. It's like Armada and Left are both really good at just up air chains with falling up airs. So, uh, yeah, Bart and Keith have a stock lead. Uh, Keith almost gets gimped. Yeah, that, that could have been horrible, but <laughs> this is still really even, I would say. Oh, Nick. Yeah. Oh. oh, that was a huge dash attack by Keith to yeah. save, save Bart. Oh no, wow! Another up smash killing a really low percent on Peach. Yeah, I think yeah. Nick Nickabod's placing these up smashes really well to get Keith killed early, so he doesn't stock tank. I think Keith has taken like less than 400 <laughs> percent. He's just losing all the stock. Wow, he's falling yeah. up there, Nickabod. He just he knows where to place the move. What the heck? Yeah, he's doing. He's putting in work this <laughs> game. Salvador's in a oh, rough yeah, spot. That, He's oh. oh wow, a good shine by Bart. That was an oh, amazing no. save by Nickobod. Yeah. They gotta get one of these. Red team has to get one of these kills right here. Okay. Oh, and that, or both of them. That, that also works. Yeah, that was such a good. That's unfortunate. I think. Yeah, the strategy here is to kind of go for Peach, but don't force. Yeah. Going he, for Peach. 
And then, uh, as Red, wow. Oh, not quite enough. Yeah. Because Salvador's doing pretty good. He's still moving well. He's not getting caught. Because that's what, that's what you want to avoid in the two-on-ones. It's just getting grabbed and, and stuck in one place. Yeah. And this is, this is bad. He gets ledge. That was nice. Ooh, that was, looked like a little bit of miscommunication by yeah. the team. It didn't cost him too much. Oh, maybe, no. Oh. He can't, I don't know if he can get this edge guard. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, he almost got him with the fair win. Oh. That's it. Oh, God. That was, that was super he almost close. had that gimp, like, gimping Fox past Peach, who was on the ledge. Yeah, that, <laughs> that would have been off the hook. But then he still would have had to, he still would have had to deal with one of them, potentially. Yeah. But he would have gotten the one-on-one, -on -one, which is a way but, better situation. But if, yeah, if he'd gotten the gimp on Fox, Fox was only at like 60, and Peach was at like 140 at that point. Yeah. So, they, yeah, they've been going to Pokemon a lot. Yep. I th yeah, I think it's a slight, slightly better for Green Team, because like, Sheik is probably better on the stage than Peach is. Yeah, just because Sheik isn't as... I don't think Sheik dies as easily as Peach off the top. No. Yeah, not as floaty. Wow, oh, I, I, yeah. needle barely missed. I thought that needle was going to hit him. That Ooh. was a good read. Good, yeah, good, good stuff by Nicobod. Good shorten. Yeah, that was perfectly spaced. <laughs> Bart's probably saving Keith there. I An up air might have killed Peach at that percent. Yeah, it would have been, been pretty close. Yeah. Good DI would have let him move. Yeah, Red Team's kind of stuck at the edge right now. Oh, that that, yeah, that neutral air almost saved Peach, but the up smash hitbox still came out. So, okay, green this has is looking, a pretty big lead. Yeah, this is looking really good for Green right now. They're high percent, but even if they both die, they still have a stock lead. Yeah, yeah, Nick just instantly put 40 damage on the Peach. <laughs> All right, so we got we got mountain. That this mountain could be this could actually be really bad for green. either team, but that's true. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go down there. I, as Sheik, you might want to go down there since you're already at 150. But as Nickabot, I would not want to go down there. Yeah, I think the mountain actually, I think it really saved yeah. Salvador. If I was Bart, okay, yeah. Bart got the kill. I was gonna say if I was Bart, I would get out of there and just try to get Nickabod. A little bit greedy with that up smash there, but it doesn't. I mean, it, he didn't lose the stock. Oh, he might lose the stock actually. That was only mangled. <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> cool. So yeah, Red's Red has a bit of a comeback here. Building. Yeah, it, it looks like Red Team's doing a better job of. As soon as I say that, Peach dies, but they were doing a better job of maintaining stage control. Yeah. But this is such a weird situation. <laughs> oh, it's, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's still... I mean, the, the stock, they, they're down two stocks, but it's just like earlier where the percentages make it not that much of a lead. Yeah, this is this is extremely close. Nick, Nick wants to hold the stock, but he doesn't want to let... Um, excuse me, Salvador wants to hold the stock. But he doesn't want to let Nicobod just get double teamed. Yeah. So I think they're doing a good job there. Oh. So now we're back to pretty being pretty even. Nick oh, he, gets, he jumps the into the middle. Oh. And Bart makes it back. I think Keith's just being there kind of scared Nick and kind of made him not want to go as hard on the on the edge guard as he could have. Yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty risky for him to try to go out there at zero for an edge guard. Oh, Ooh, that was close. Just running in there with the up smash again. The Bart has. Well, they had an edge guard opportunity. Wow. Just down smash. Nick's shield was really low a second ago. Oh, okay. He's, All too right. high, he's too high percent to get. Oh, he, okay, he closed it out. That was big because. This is going to be pretty rough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's looking, looking like, like it's, it's over. It. 
And a fair win. There we go. <laughs> All right. Two one for Nicobot and Salvador. I think that was. They just kind of maintained. They got a lead at the start and maintained it for the whole match. Yeah. And that was what round in losers? Like what? What did loser get? You know what place they got? I th I think that was for like fourth or fifth place maybe. Because we still have like Bladewise and Iceman, I think, are teaming. Bladewise Fag and Eggs are teaming. Uh, Bladewise and Eggs, Fat Goku and Mike Hayes, yep. uh, Rustin and eBay. Yep, and they're playing I Nolan and Rat King. Nolan and Rat King? This, w this is Losers, right? Yeah. This is Losers, yeah. Um, so that, that had to have been for fifth or maybe seventh. Mm -hmm. I don't. N okay, so eBay and Rustin got sent to Losers by Steven and Rat King. It was 2 0, but both games were actually really close, like down to the last two stocks. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I, I would give the edge to uh, eBay and Rustin. Rustin. In this. eBay and Rustin have really good team synergy. It looked like from watching their set earlier. Um, I d I, it's all going to come down to Rat King if he can, because no one's good in teams. I don't know how good Rat King is in teams now. But yeah, we'll I see. haven't seen Rat King play in a really long time. So I, I was talking to eBay earlier, and he said that he actually kind of likes the small stages, even though he's going Falcon, because just Rustin gets so much on the small stages, and he just kind of controls part of the stage with short hop knees and plays and stuff like yeah. that, short hop back airs. So that we might see them like 